So my startup is uh, League of Bespoke. It's a tailored shirt company. Um, I'm focusing right now primarily on uh, men. And um, I just wanted to talk about uh, the process I'm going through right now, uh, where I am, and where I'm going, and what I've learned. So uh, my name is Radek. I'm the founder. Uh, I'm a full-time engineer working in the energy business. And uh, part-time, I'm an entrepreneur. And um, I'm passionate about entrepreneurship, so I wanted to do a startup and uh, this startup really allowed me to do something part-time, low cost, low risk, uh, to gain a lot of experience. Um, you know, Twitter and YouTube, you can check out uh, my Twitter profile or YouTube, all that channels there. So here's a, just, a, I just wanted to provide a screenshot of my business. Um, I'll get to it in the next slide, but uh, I'm really at the, uh, I just developed my product, so I have three phases, uh, product, uh, built customer experience, and spread the word. So uh, my business model was really to start with uh, a quote unquote minimum viability product. So get something up and running, you know, minimal features, minimal investment, and then get the feedback from the community and then uh, iterate and improve. So my uh, website, if you go to it right now, uh, it's pretty, pretty basic. I tried to kind of follow the Google model, you know, clean and uh, utilitarian really. So um, I'll talk about it uh, uh, in the next slide, but I'm going to be moving into a redesign in my next phase. So phase one, develop the product. This is complete. So I've set up my supply chain. Uh, I'm confident that my supplier can deliver a quality uh, custom tailored shirt to my customer. I've done this by uh, doing a lot, lots of trials and uh, getting some uh, samples made for people, having uh, friends and family order, things like that. So now I'm moving on to phase two, which is uh, building the customer experience. And this is really gonna involve redesigning my website, um, getting it into kind of the web 2.0 space and uh, making it look professional and competitive. And uh, phase three will be spreading the word, so the, the marketing. So I guess now would be a good time to talk about my business model. Uh, so my business model is essentially, um, I have a tailor out of uh, Vietnam which uh, I aggregate orders here in Canada. Um, customers submit their measurements, they choose a fabric, shirt design uh, details and such through the website. Then uh, twice a month I place a bulk order with my tailor, um, have them create the shirts, uh, ship them here and then I distribute. So it's a really nice business model because I don't hold any inventory. Um, Generally, I actually have a, a negative working capital, which means that I get, I get uh, customers pay for the shirts, and then um, I pay the tailor once the shirts arrive. So it's a very low risk model, relatively low investment, which was uh, nice for a first startup. You know, you want to get some experience in your first startup in a low risk environment, so you're not, you know, putting in like five or ten thousand dollars into something that you really have no idea is going to work. Um, some, some new things I'm working on is, uh, some things I learned during the product stage was uh, that customers are a bit reluctant to buy online if they haven't felt the material or, or the fabric. So I'm, uh, in the redesign, it's going to include something called Operation Shirt Zero, which allows the customer to uh, do a free tester shirt. So uh, you input your measurements, and I send you, I send you a uh, plain white shirt to your measurements. Uh, you try it on, you see how it fits, you see the stitching, the quality, see if you like it. Um, and if you, let's say you need maybe an extra half inch on the neck because you measured wrong, you give me that feedback, and then shirt one will be hopefully perfect. So uh, this is a bit of a freemium model. Um, there is a deposit, but uh, that deposit moves onto shirt one. So once you uh, purchase shirt one, then shirt zero becomes free. So I think that this will, uh, this will allow customers to test my product risk-free, and um, I think this will put a bit more confidence into uh, my product. Like I'm confident that I can deliver you a quality tailored shirt, so uh, I'm willing to, uh, you know, cut out all profits for the first couple, so you can try it out. Um, so in in phase two, I'm uh, I'm really looking to learn from the community. Um, I'm not a marketing guy. I'm a technical engineer guy. So. If you guys are, uh, you know, developers, marketers, stuff like that, and you'd love to share some things with me, I would love to hear it. So just uh, come speak to me afterwards, and uh, that's my startup. So thank you.